All right, you guys asked for this about two months ago, and it took forever to get here, and I just got in my box today, and now I know why. Here's the wrapper that it came in, and that's because it came from the Banggood warehouse up in Canada, so it was an international shipment, and this thing got stopped by the Customs and Border Protection. They must have been intrigued by what they found because they kept it for weeks. comes in a nice little case. As I said, uh, Banggood, it cost... Uh, I see I paid $23.97 plus about $6 shipping. Total of 30 bucks for everything you're getting ready to see. Nice case, very solidly held together. And then when you open it up, or at least I, my, uh, I started getting buyer's remorse immediately because you can see what my eye focused on. It's, uh, everything else is shiny except there's some surface rust on the pliers. It just it doesn't really detract from the functionality. It's purely aesthetic, but it, to be, to be honest, to me, it kind of bothered. They work perfectly. A drop of oil is going to solve that. But uh, anyway, the rest of the tools, all shiny. So uh, I'm perfectly happy. Uh, these two things kind of look like um, pencil sharpeners. You pull these dudes up, and you notice right away they're different sizes. Um, what are these for? Well, you've seen me try to gut locks, and I pull the core out, and I very carefully set it down to the pinning board, and then right away, the darn thing falls over, dumps everything out, and I don't know where it all went. By using one of these guys, if you want to put it in there, it's going to hold, hold it very solidly. Just set it down, not going to roll over. And if you want to repin it, it's much more stable than trying to do it while it's balanced on your pinning tray. So you've got one, the larger one I call it, it measures 0.49 inches, which is 12.45 millimeters across there. It's for Schlage's, quick sets, all the standard cores. So you get the two most common sizes. The other one is for Master American, it measures 0.371, which is 9.4 millimeters. There's a American core and it just slides in there absolutely perfectly. So very nice to keep things from having a disaster like I routinely do. Um, you get three followers. Again, it's the same two diameters as those. You get the small one for the American locks, for the master locks, and some Chinese locks, in fact. And you notice right away it's got a groove in the bottom. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. You get the larger diameter, the 12.45 millimeter or 0.49 inches. And you get two of those actually, one hollow one in case you got some weird tail pieces, and then you got the other one, two flat tail pieces, and again with the slot. So right away that slot should give us a clue as to what kind of locks these are designed for. They're actually designed for European locks, and that's what this is. These are really difficult to find little tools, and when you find them, um, they're usually pretty expensive, but Here's a lock. This is a Euro lock. I've gone ahead and cut this one in half so you can kind of see. Usually there's another half on here, and then there's a, a circlip located in that groove right where my thumbnail is. You remove the circlip, and then you can move the core in and out after you've picked it. But if you do that, all the pins that are in the Bible are going to be flying everywhere inside of the lock. That's, what the, that's where this guy comes in. So we take this, we compress the bottom of it, try to do this through the lens of the camera, slide it in there like that. Once it's down, that spring tension holds it in place, and then we can take our core of our picked lock, pull them out, and put them in our little holder to keep from spilling, oops, spilling all the pins. So pretty cool little toolkit. And now, let me pick this guy up again. Now you can see what's happening. That tension, the spring tension tool is holding all of the drivers in place. So we can repin this a little bit of time by sliding this back and forth. And then when we're ready, when this is fully loaded, it'll be back in this position. We've repinned our lock. Or, if I can grab it, you're going to see now what this slot is for. Now we can slide this dude in there. We can remove this tool, and now we can slide our core back in. Very cool, very well thought out. Okay, so what else do we have? Let me just set this guy here. So we don't launch any pins. We have a circlip remover. You guys have seen me using this, and I finally found one that's perfect. This is a stock circlip, not one of those weird ones from Lowe's or Home Depot that I usually find on challenge locks. If you notice, this tool has a little cutout right there, then what I call the beak or the sharp end. So we take it like so, trying to do this through the camera. We fit the circlip into that little notch, just like that, and then the beak lines up with the other side. We push down. Again, I'm trying to do this through the camera. There we go. We push down. It's going to unlock the circlip. We take that little beak, we press them in there, and we just lever that thing right off of there. How easy is that? Much better than trying to use a probe or a screwdriver and gouging a hole in your finger. 
Very nice little tool. Seems to be pretty durable, as long as you keep your thumb away from that sharp end when you pull it out of there. We also get a pair of tweezers that were underneath the circle clip remover. Let me take that little band off. Uh, just a normal set of tweezers. They seem to work okay. Uh, nothing spectacular, but what I would have liked to have seen, I'm going to start into how I would change this kit. These are hard to handle pins with because there's no cutout, there's no indentation for the pin itself. I would have really liked to have seen uh, at least a filed out groove or something so that I can positively control that pin with the tip of the tweezers. Something like that would not have been hard to do. What else would I have liked to see change? Well, on the followers themselves, let's grab these guys back out of here. Both of the followers have flat ends and on US locks, these are great for European locks, but on US locks, I really would have liked to have seen one of the ends cut out with a half moon and the other end cut out with a center cut because those are the type of followers that we run into, at least here in, in uh, North America. So I really would have liked to have seen that. Can you fix it? Yeah, about 10 minutes with a file. You can easily file this. It's made out of pretty, it's made out of aluminum, so it'd be very easy to modify these, but I would have liked to have seen that come from the factory that way. And now we come to these, these things. I've been putting this off to last because it's three little cylinders, and get that dude out of there. They're very he solidly held in place. I don't know what these are for. I have no clue. So what I use them for is when somebody in the shop begins to irritate me, I have three chances to shut them up. That You can launch these at high velocity, and they're usually pretty persuasive if you strike people in the head or the face. Now seriously, I got no idea what these are for, but if you've ever wished you had some aluminum spacers that measure 0.49 inches or 12 and a half uh, millimeters in diameter, then you got three of those dudes to play around with. Anyway, if you would like to win this kit, this is the website you go to. If you're going to take a look for it on, online, you have to, uh, at Banggood, you're going to have to use that search term, Huck Professional 12-in-1 Lock Disassembly Locksmith Toolkit. Be careful when you shop around. I found this, the reason I bought it from Banggood is because it's the cheapest one I found, quite honestly. The prices on, that I found the, uh, on this precise kit, the exact same manufacturer, ranges from uh, what I paid, $23.97, all the way up to $60. So pay attention, pay attention to the price, and uh, you can save yourself a lot of money for the identical kit. Anyway, fellas, go to the website, register, and you can win this thing next week. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.